guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to a little update um as you can see by the title west brom being linked with a move now for sampdoria defender omar collie now this has been reported by gian luigi longari however you say his name now it seems i don't know how much of a reliable source this guy is i'll be completely honest with you i don't know too much about Omar Colley either I'll be completely honest but um, you know he's got the blue tick on Instagram he's followed by the likes of football manager and a lot of other big other Twitter accounts and stuff like that and he's got quite a few followers um, but he is saying that West Brom have registered an interest in the centre-back now he is a Gambian born centre-back 27 years of age currently playing his football over in this in Italy now I'm not sure how good he is, like I've said. I don't know too much about him, I'll be completely honest. Now, his transfer market value, when I looked, was 4.95 million. I do believe that he was signed um, from Sampdoria from Genk, I believe, or somewhere like that, for £1.7 million. Um, now, apparently, he's had a really impressive season out there in Italy, and we're interested in him. You know, again... It, it, <sighs> With what I'm about to say, um, they reportedly want 15 million euros for him or 13.5 million pounds. Now, it goes back to my point what I made earlier on, on the video I made about a couple of hours ago. If you haven't watched that, go and check it out, by the way. Um, some more transfer news. But again, it, it's really, really bizarre. I find it bizarre how we've been linked with these players for... You know, one player for £15 million, pound, we got linked to Watkins, like I said earlier. And we're meant to only have a budget of £20 million. Like I said in the last video, to me, it just seems like they've downplayed how much we actually have. So other teams don't rip us off. Um, and they're kind of keeping the budget a secret. You know, with the players we've been linked with, it just looks like that there's more money available than the club is making out. I'm not sure. Don't count me in on it, but... The latest player West Brom are being linked with is Omar Colley from Sampdoria. Now, the next one I'm going to go into, I wouldn't really rely on this one. I wouldn't get your hopes up if if you even would. Um, West Brom apparently looking at Dwight Gale again. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I'm not sure how true this is. It just seems that ever since Gale joined in the championship season, ever since he's done well, Every single window, uh, we seem to get linked to him again. Now, he's, he's 30 years of age. Um, do we really want someone that age when we've got, like, Robson Carnu and Charlie Austin, who are already quite old? Do we really need someone like that? And Newcastle apparently wanting at least 10 million, 10 to 15 million pounds for him, which, again, is absolutely ludicrous. Um, there was a report again today... Ivan Tony as well, who West Brom have been linked with. Apparently, they want ten million. Again, another ludicrous valuation, in my opinion. You're not going to pay, you know, ten million pound for a, a player who did well in League One. I just don't see how that value is even feasible. If I'm being completely honest, but again, we've been linked with Dwight Gale. I'm not sure what to make of it. If we could get him for around three, four million pound, then yeah, absolutely great. Him and uh, Ollie Watkins up front, we can only dream. But, you know, the only problem as well with Gale is going to be wages. He'd be on an, pff, a massive amount, probably 70, 80 grand a week. And I'm not sure he merits that much, to be honest with you. You know, it's a big wage. Um, I'm not sure I'd pay it for a 30-year-old. I'd, I'd rather try and get a hidden gem or something like that. But, guys, the latest links, the latest transfer rumours, I'll bring them to you as quick as I can. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you.